Hey guys, uh, I'm going to show you how to use the hockey trowel, coat this round bead here. Uh, this is going to be just a quick lesson. Uh, the hockey trowel uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to, so uh, don't, uh, don't think you're going to do like I do right off the bat. Um, you're going to want to clean your bead first. So what I do is I run my trowel along the edge like this. As you can see, there's a little bit of chunk, so just, just fly off a little bit. Like, not that, but this, no, but this yeah. here. See that little bulge right there? There it came off. Because when I run my trowel along it, I don't want the little chunkies to go into the mud and then... Or to skiff off the edge of the bead because of a piece of drywall. Okay, so I got some real thick mud, as you can see here. You know, it's, uh, this is how it should be. It should be right out of the box. I mean, you can put a splash of water in it, but you don't want Not to much. splash when you're using the hog trowel. You want thick stuff because this is how you take your mud off. You know, you pull a little bit of mud. So, uh, to coat the bead here, I'm going to start with this side here. So, as you see, I put the, the mud on the back side of my trowel. There's more empty space over here. And I put it up on the wall. It's the, empty, the empty space kind of overlapped the bead a little bit, so you weren't spilling, right? See? So, yeah, the empty space is on the bead. Okay, so on a trowel, when you put it up, you want to work it this way on the bead. And it leaves a big a, a bunch of mud like that. I'll show you again. But here I got a bunch of mud. Work it this way, and I press along the bead, and it leaves the mud here. And then I can, I want to try to fill the bead. This is called loading the bead. I'm loading the bead first. So I want to put a lot of mud, and it kind of looks ugly like this. But this is how you want it at first. So now I'm going to better this edge here. So I'm, I'm holding this trowel. I'm going to push hard on this side to better this edge. See how I kind of feather the edge? And you want to try to keep it fairly straight when you're feathering the edge. You don't want it all over the place. No. That's just, that comes with time. With time and practice. So now i got a lot of mud and the edge is turned out. I want to push my trowel fairly. Flat, fairly flat against the bead and against, and against the wall here. And scoops the mud off. And see now, there's a couple little pinholes here. Oh, it's, it's really not that bad for a first coat. It's pretty good for a first coat, but if you want it, you can do just a quick, really light sweep, real fast, and it just takes away the pinholes like that. Gets rid of all the ugly. To the bottom side here. So I put it upside down. I gotta see there's an empty space here. That's when it's gonna go. The mud is gonna go like this. And I push and I pull. And see how I pull against the bead up on this side at the same time. Do it fast. See, so as he's doing that, he's actually. He's putting pressure on the right side of the bead so that the mud from the right side of the bead is kind of squishing out into the bead so it lifts up through it. So as well he says he scrapes it to the bead, when you go big and you get accustomed to what you're doing, you shouldn't you should be able to put the mud on in one or two easy strokes. So again I got the mud on, it's pretty even, you can see it's pretty pretty flat here, so I'm gonna use the corner here and I'm gonna just just feather the edge. So I feather the edge. There's a lot of mud. You want to make sure that there's a lot of mud here. I don't know if you guys are aware, but there's a lot of mud on that first coat of bead. There's a lot of mud right here. You want to make sure that there's a lot of mud before I skip it off so that there's no dipping. areas that have no mud. That's right. Or not enough mud. That's right. More mud right now is better than not enough. That's right. So as you can see, I did a flat, uh, a flat coat, a flat pass. So it's real flat like this, you know. Flat pass. You're not pushing too hard with the no. trowel. You don't want to push hard on it. If you push hard on it, you're going to make it round. You'll dip it. And it's going to be dished. Yeah. Yes. And you don't want that. So, okay, Phil, let's get this other side. Maybe I'll take it. Uses, oh, you see? See how that was done? He picks it up with the tip of his, his hot, or trowel. Just the tip of it. This side now I'm going different. This is easier, easier for me uh, to handle. I find that uh, it works better this way for me. But uh, so I put the mud on, 
And as I go, of course, you want to push the mud up flat like this. So I push, kind of push the mud up flat. This long mud. Mud. See, and I squeeze against the bead there like that. I squeeze it out against the bead. It's, it's all loaded. I got to flatten it out. Or feather it out. So I feather it out. And it's all nice and straight. And now I'm going to use the flat. I'm going to put it on flat so that it uh, wipes it all flat. So real flat here. No feathering, not pressing too hard, nothing. There. But that's coated and it's a little dark on the side, don't see quite as well. Yeah, it's a little dark, but that looks pretty good to me from outside the camera. And there's a bunch of extra mud here. What we have here is called a round wiper knife. You can buy it at most any drywall outfit place will carry you those. You can use this. You can use your knife. You can just whoops. Not make a mess. You can just scrape off the not make a mess. So you can just scrape off the edges like this. Or if you're gonna do a little bit of round work, this is a nice tool to have, especially if you're doing meats, where there are two round meats and arches. If you're doing arches, this is a nice tool to have. It just it wipes around for you. Very nicely. Uh, I, I dealt the other side a little bit here. Phil, just clean that up a little bit. Yeah, clean that up. All done. So that's done. You know, I just have to stop right here to do a little bit of that So thanks a lot, Phil. That's how you use the hockey trowel for a uh, simple bull nose round bead. Thanks.